and welcome to a new section in this course. In this section, I'll show you how to set up your Blink app on your phone and how to do your first few experiments using an Arduino Nano 33 IoT and an ESP32. And I just wanted to take a minute here in this first lecture in this section to show you what is it that you're going to accomplish by the end of this section. So we're going to start with the Arduino Nano and um, because it's got um, built-in Wi-Fi and it's got built-in LEDs that we can use to play around with uh, some of the most basic and simple widgets in Blink. But then I'm going to migrate our application onto the ESP32 just to show you how easy it is to jump from one device to the other. So I've prepared here an example, very simple circuit as you can see. So this circuit is based on a generic ESP32. It doesn't even have any built-in LEDs that I can control. So what I've done is I've got an LED here which is connected to 3.3 volts pin just to indicate that the power is on and then I've got another two LEDs that I'm going to control from the Blink application. So this one is connected to GPIO 21 and this one is connected to GPIO 22. Nothing fancy here. So let me show you what is happening we will be using the public Blink server uh, instead of installing the private server on a Raspberry Pi. This is something that we're going to do in subsequent uh, sections. Uh, but of course, the public Blink server is the easiest one to begin with. So I've got my application here, my Blink application here running on my phone. And let's see, if I press on this button, you can see that the red LED turns on momentarily at least for as long as I'm pressing this button right here on the application. Another thing that I can do is that I've got this slider here. And as you can see, I can use a slider to send PWM values to the green LED and control its brightness. I've got another button here, which I have configured as a switch. So you can see when I change its state, it stays with the new state. And I'm just going to connect that to the LED, the GPIO 21 to control that. So instead of the red LED uh, staying on only for as long as I'm pressing the button, I'm going to make a little change here. I've got that connected to GPIO 22, but I'm going to switch that to GPIO 21. It says busy, but it is OK. And play again. And let's see what happens now. All right, so you can see that as I'm pressing the switch now, it's a button configured as a switch, the red LED stays on. And you saw how easy it is to make a change like this without having to, without having to make any changes and reflash the sketch onto the ESP32. There's a lot of functionality that I can implement directly onto the Blink application without requiring any uh, changes to the uh, Arduino sketch that is running on the ESP32. And this change is related to direct control of the GPIOs or of the Arduino pins. All right, so this was just a, a quick demonstration of what it is that you'll have achieved by the end of this section, uh, arguably with very little written code. I uh, will be using templates and then just very small changes to the uh, example sketches in the templates. So let's go over to the next lecture where I'll show you how to set up your Arduino Nano 33 IoT to work with Blink.